Gabrielle Rawson, and you're watching Cape Media News. I'm here today with Kristen Bose Clothier, who is the brand new CEO for Cape Cod Young Professionals. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me here, Gabby. It's a pleasure to have this opportunity to speak with you about CCYP in this brand new leadership role. So thank you. Absolutely. Um, I definitely want to hear more about that. But before we get into that, can you tell us a little bit about what Cape Cod Young Professionals is? Absolutely. So Cape Cod Young Professionals promotes Cape Cod as a vibrant place for young people to live and work year round. It advocates for policies and resources that positively impact Cape Codders' quality of life. It promotes opportunities for leadership and career development and operates high quality mission driven programs. And I will have the opportunity during this conversation to share more about some of the exciting initiatives we have planned for 2021. Oh, wonderful. I am so excited to learn about that. Um, so obviously, uh, you are brand new to the role. Um, talk to me a little bit about what it's like to, uh, to be a part of this organization and, and about some of your plans. Absolutely. I could not be more excited to take on this new role with CCYP. I'm looking forward to teaming up with CCYP's dedicated volunteer leadership team, members, supporters, volunteer committees, and community partners to develop new initiatives and really continue the growth of programs that help connect, engage, and advance young professionals here on Cape Cod. CCYP has done so much in its first 15 years um, in supporting our young professionals and there are unlimited opportunities moving forward. Uh, initially, one of the things we're going to do this first year is I'll be working closely with CCYP's board of directors on developing a new strategic plan for the organization to guide the organization at this stage of its growth. And I'm also already starting to work with a number of our volunteer committees just in my first six days, this is day six, um, to plan out initiatives and programs for 2021. At, at the beginning of this year, programs will continue to be virtual. And then hopefully um, we will get back to in-person programs once we're in a post-COVID world. So Wonderful. lots of opportunities to connect. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, so tell us a little bit about some of um, your programming and, and some of the things that you have planned for this year. So for those who are looking to connect with other young professionals in small interactive groups virtually, um, sign up for one of our Coffee Connect programs. Uh, we just had one recently, just last week. It was filled to capacity, a lot of interest from members who weren't able to participate. And so we plan to do many more of those and they're small groups very engaging and a way to really learn from others' experiences here on the Cape. And we bring in featured um, community partners to share their work as well to those Coffee Connects. Um, we also have other virtual programs this winter and spring include a laser-focused coaching series for um, our community. And also we have on April 7th and 8th, our Shape Your Cape Summit, which is an annual event. This is our fifth year. This year it will be held virtually. And um, it's an opportunity. Our volunteer leadership team is really excited about facilitating forward-thinking conversations interactive learning sessions and community connections. Um, and this year's theme is resiliency. And so really focusing on resilience, um, both personally, professionally, and we've already launched the uh, signups for that event. And so I hope many of um, everyone in our community really will participate. And for people who are just now learning about Cape Cod Young Professionals, is this a membership program or can anyone attend these virtual events? That is a very good question. So we, we do have memberships. We have a very strong membership base of over a thousand members and it's growing. And I hope many of your listeners will um, become a part of that community. Uh, but we um, do uh, extend the invitation to our programs to non-members as well. There are different uh, fees. Members receive a discount to participate in most of our programs. So. Um, Good question. Thank you. Um, I guess another question I would have for you is, how do you feel, um, and obviously I know you're new to the role, but um, I'm sure you have experience with this. Um, how do you feel COVID-19 has impacted um, this sort of work? Do you think it will actually help that some of these events are virtual? That's 
a, a very, very good question. Um, I can say that, you know, prior to COVID-19, this organization had so many in-person networking and engaging opportunities across the Cape. And we've pivoted and really adapted our programs into the virtual space. And we're really seeing a lot of interest, high level of engagement. And hopefully, as you're saying, um, it will be an opportunity to engage more young professionals in some of our programs that could not have perhaps traveled a distance to get to specific programs, but now they can just zoom in. Um, and hopefully our reach will grow through this. And I, after, once we are, Post COVID, we anticipate still continuing a selection of virtual programs and in person programs, continuing the virtual so that we, now that we're seeing that they're popular, I think it's an opportunity. Coming into this new role, what uh, are some of the things that you plan to do? I hope to facilitate expansion of our professional development and leadership skill building programs and to really find creative ways to engage an even larger percentage of the Cape's young workforce and community partners in CCYP. I also look forward to continuing CCYP's important work of advocating and collaborating at the local, regional, and state level in support of policies and resources that directly impact young working professionals here on the Cape on issues that include affordable uh, child care, workforce housing, and access to technology and resources and training to advance and succeed here on the Cape. Absolutely, that's those are all such important things in retention of workforce and also, uh, you know, having a Cape Cod that's livable, that's affordable for everyone. So um, I'm really Absolutely. excited, excited to see um, what you do. Um, you. Now, how can people get involved if they want to become a member or if they want to attend one of your virtual um, sessions? Absolutely. So I would encourage all young professionals on the Cape who are not yet active in CCYP to explore our website, sign up to receive our e-news updates, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, um, participate in an upcoming program that you can access registrations through our website as well, and really join an organization that connects Cape, the Cape's emerging leaders. Um, there's just such a strong community and we would love to have all of you out there be a part of it. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me, Gabby. It was a pleasure.